We are taking action for your health for the next several weeks. We're going to take a look at ways that you can improve your well-being and the new procedures that may give you a better quality of life. So tonight we're tackling the subject of acid reflux. Many of you suffer from it and take antacids either over the counter or prescription strength. But do you know the downside of those meds? One local Tampa man would like to educate you. Vic Kukis looks perfectly healthy, but looks can be deceiving. I had a very bad uh, bout with acid reflux and didn't even really know what it was. Uh, and I had some bleeding. Turned out to be Barrett's, a precancerous condition of the esophagus. It's serious and can turn deadly. I was put on some heavy prescription drugs uh, on a daily basis and in the initial stages twice a day. Uh, at which point it relieved my acid as, as well as can, can, it can. And uh, after a period of several years, uh, I started breaking down muscle tissue. Uh, I've had three surgeries in the last four years. And acids are numerous and very easy to get these days, but some experts say using them long term could result in some problems such as vitamin deficiencies or even affect your bone health, leading possibly to hip fractures or osteoporosis. So they block acid production about 98 to 99 percent for about 16 to 18 hours of the day. But we need the acid to digest food and absorb vitamins vitamins and minerals. The ones that it specifically helps us with are B12, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and magnesium. And so as we block the acid so well with these medications every day, then we get malabsorption of those. Which could have led to Vic's problems and some others. Poor B12, so a lot of fatigue, um, poor vitamin D or calcium, so then things such as osteoporosis, hip fractures, wrist fractures. So what's the solution? We have three different procedures that we do for reflux, um, and they range from a partial um, tightening of the sphincter to a complete tightening of the sphincter. The doctor also does a surgery using this device, a string of magnets to keep acid from coming back up. I want to have the procedure done here in the next few months and it will relieve me of having to take these uh, acid blockers and hopefully prevent any more you know, muscle damage. And we'll tell you more about the link surgery. It's relatively new here. That'll be Friday at 5. But if you'd like some more information on acid reflux in general, I've posted a link on my Facebook page. Just look for Linda Hurtado WFTS under Pages and like the page.